What's going on, grind schoolers? Back to you with another repair video, do it yourself video. I gotta repair the brakes on my car. Um, gotta just repair these back brakes. Gotta get this tire fixed as well. Looks like it's going low, but gotta repair the back brakes. Um, it shouldn't take too long to do um, this little project. So let's get to it. Let's tear into these brakes and let's get it done. The hardest part of my job is getting this thing up out of the trunk. This thing weighs a ton. One of those heavy duty jacks, that's what you need to lift your car up though. Don't want it falling on you. Make sure you find your proper jack points on your vehicle so you don't mess it up. Also, if you have all the tools, this job should only take a little bit. Now that you have your wheel off, you want to get, there's two 916 bolts back here that you want to loosen up and then this brake caliper should come apart. You'll be able to have access to your brake pads, take them out, replace them, put the brake grease on, compress the caliper and you'll be good to go. slight problem. Um, it looks like the lower control arm is contacting the lower bolt on the caliper. Uh, it doesn't look like it's going to be too much of an issue because I was able to take the caliper off or spin it off so I still have access to the brake shoes. Um, this actually could be a good thing so that the caliper is just not hanging loose and it has tension on the brake line. Um, but like I said, it's a problem. We'll go ahead and fix it. We'll knock it out. Show you what I'm talking about. So right here, this bolt is contacting this lower control arm. Um, so I had to improvise and I just was able to move this down like this. So I still have access to the brake shoes. Um, and this is just dangling like this. It's kind of actually a good thing because this brake line doesn't have so much tension on it by just hanging free. Um, and I guess I don't have to try to line this back up in order to, to get the bolt in. So I can just flip it right back up and I should be good to go. So I'm gonna take these off, replace them. Um, and hopefully this fixes my problem. So what you wanna do is put grease on the edges right here. The reason for the grease is for uh, protection or whatever. Usually when you have metal on metal surfaces, uh, it's, good, I, it's a good idea to have lubricant because of the friction and the heat that it causes. So you want to grease these surfaces so that it has a nice smooth transition into the metal sleeve so that you don't have squeaking and just a whole bunch of noise that you don't want. Just a little dab on the edges put it on the surface itself. Perfect. Now the next thing you want to do is use your brake tool to go ahead and compress this caliper. You want it flush because you have uh, a lot more brake meat on your brake pads. So the caliper needs to be pushed in. Uh, the piston in the caliper needs to be pushed back so that it can fit over the new brake shoes and you should be good to go. Be able to button up this caliper and your brakes are done. Now that you have the piston fully compressed inside the caliper, you should be able to slide this right on, just like so. Now you're ready to button everything up, and you're good to go. Put your wheel back on, go ahead and do the other side. Here in my garage. <laughs> it's like, no. Now that the, uh, the brakes are done on the car, I'm gonna go ahead and fill the tires up. Um, thank you guys for tuning in for this episode of Do It Yourself. I'll see you guys on the next one. Always remember, work hard so you can live free.